my channel, Redneck Computer Geek, and today we're going to be installing this Mr. Gasket 3842G pedal kit onto our mud mower. This kit is around $50 or so. You can pick it up on Amazon. I'll post a link down in the description. Basically, in the kit, you get your pedal, all your hardware for setting it up, including the detention nut for putting on your carburetor, a 48 inch cable that's able to be shortened up, and a very pathetic set of Chinese directions. So we're going to get this bolted onto the mud mower and the nice thing about this pedal is that it's self-returning. It has a spring in the bottom so when you let go it comes back. And this means that you don't have to mess with carburetor return springs. The pedal will pull itself back up. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, one of the first things you'll notice when you get this pedal is that it has three holes in the bottom for mounting. And the way that you get to these holes is you remove the washer and the pin from the inside and then press it down slightly and pull out. It will leave the grommet there. You can pull that out if you want to to set it aside and then release the pressure. This will allow you to be able to see the holes in order to drill down through for your mounting points. Okay, so next once you get your holes drilled down through, you're going to need one inch by one quarter bolts that are going to go down through along with your lock ring and a nut. Alright, so the next thing you're going to have to deal with when setting this unit up is going to be this, which is your retaining clip in order to hold down the cable, which looks like this. You simply push it in and then crimp it with a pair of pliers and set it in like that and put your nut through. Then you're going to have to loop this piece over the end. I actually added this washer on the inside because I found it wasn't quite moving correctly. But once I added this washer, crimped in the cable on this side, put the next washer on, and then the retaining clip, it now works great. So now we'll go work on the carburetor side. So as you can see, I have a hole that's in the side of the throttle. And basically all I did was I heated this up with a blowtorch and then I proceeded to just simply press it in. So that way I can use the cabling keep and all I'm going to do now is just fill this with two ton epoxy after I put a plug in the bottom of the keep. That way it doesn't epoxy the cable and I can still adjust it. Alright, so as you can see, we've got our two ton epoxy. We're going to get all mixed up. Now we're just going to lather it right on the end of there. And stick it right back in. And there we are. So at this point, it's filled with two ton epoxy. It's going to have to sit for a while. And we'll come back to it and start working on getting the engine adjusted. Alright, so at this point, I've given this 24 hours for the epoxy to fully set up. Because I want to make sure this is rugged and not going to snap off while I'm out on the trail. And as you can see, it's nice and tight. So we're now with the gas pedal in its neutral position we're going to set this just slightly over and then tighten it up and now on the other side we're going to tighten up the gas pedal until 
this unit hit its usual full throttle mark, which would be right about there. So on the other side, we're going to press down the gas pedal until we get it to its normal full throttle mark, and then adjust the gas pedal accordingly. As you can see, it works pretty good. It's going to need some fine tuning. Um, I do think in the future I will probably add a return spring of some sort because the kickback on this is just, it, it gums up just a little bit and I don't know whether that's the cable being new or whether it's the pedal itself. So I'm going to work that over. I hope you guys enjoyed this pedal install and look them up. There's a link down below. Have fun, guys.